I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha to a TV. I'm pretty sure I am about 98% less sassy without my long nails. I ripped my nail off and by nail I don't mean the actual gel or the acrylic, I mean my nail. Yes, from the nail bed I ripped it off. I had to go short, cut them off and restart again. I am here with an unboxing today and this one is super special to me and my obsessiveness and if you follow my channel you will know why and probably what is in this little Chanel bag. But up first I'd like to thank today's video sponsor, the one and only Laura Mercier. I've done quite a few of these. They send me out the most amazing little PR packages and this is definitely one of them. They're wrapped so gorgeously. <laughs> and in this little pouch is their secret camouflage concealer duo. What I really love about Laura Mercier is that they do have a really great color selection from, you know, fair skin like myself, like super fair skin, to a more deeper skin, which is really across the board, very inclusive, which I feel, you know, sometimes brands just aren't. They're very limiting to shades. So how gorgeous is this little pouch? Concealer duos down inside, and then it's got this bottom bit. Oh, cute. Wow, so this is like a little travel beauty case. It's got the little mirror on there and you can pop your probably brushes or these actual sort of sticks, duo sticks or even I've got in my inner corner their little highlight stick and it can go on the road with you. So they've given me the 2N, 2C and 2W. So these are all quite fair concealers. So one end we have the corrector. So on that end you would go in to correct and this is a full face matte cream texture, provides full comfortable coverage throughout the day. And then you can flip it around to the brightening. This brightens under eye, instantly reduces the appear of under eye darkness. So that would obviously be going in and doing your under eye brightening and concealer like that. So look at that, that's so cool. You get two in one basically. Or beautiful packaging. I just, I am so in love with Laura Mercier. It is my new favorite mascara, 100% the caviar mascara. I don't even think I'm gonna buy better than six again. And look at the range. See what I meant by the range of colors? I will definitely link these below for you guys to check out. Definitely check them out. They're super creamy. And thanks so much to Laura Mercier. Okay, let's get into this. I was in the city with my mother. I took this picture on Instagram and posted it as a quick stop in because it was. We were heading to the city for my mom to get some of her jewelry, her wedding bands resized. And the lines were so long. The city had opened from COVID. It was maybe it had opened probably four weeks. So the lines were so long. And I was like, I don't think I'm going to be able to get into Chanel. There'll be a line. And I ran there and there wasn't a line. So I was like, oh my gosh, use this chance to see what they had. And they had this little baby. So I picked it up on the spot. There's a beautiful package here is a proof of purchase and I found a new essay I find a new essay every time at Castle Ray so that's the Sydney flagship and I'll share the price with you guys after we unbox this little beauty so there is our gorgeous camellia and here we go gorgeous and care card down inside wow I haven't seen it Ooh, wow, look at that. It is shining bright like a diamond. Wow, I will get some cutaways for you guys, but this is the Chanel. So very similar to, what was it, 20P? 20P, 21S. See how good I am at that? No, shocking. Similar to the 21S, like the button Chanel, the, uh, the new kind of like, gold gold that was so fire hot honestly everybody wanted to get their hands on them i'll throw a shot in of them here this was like the like reinterpretation of it with the actual little crystal the square crystals around in between each letter and i would call this a champagne gold it's not that orange gold the really dark kind of almost vintage color gold which came back which is gorgeous i still i'm still grieving the loss truthfully that's how bad my ocd is i'm grieving the loss and i don't want to go backwards my husband talked me out of it 
but I'm still grieving the loss of my, this is not my Zara blazer, this is my H&M blazer, it's a little bit more of a crepe. My Zara blazer was a lot more structured and it had my snowfall or my winterfall, I think it was called from 19B, 19P, where I got my rolled drawstring bag. I lost that blazer with the brooch on it. I still want that brooch back because it was small. This isn't huge, but that one was really quite small. Let's go ahead and take this out. I will get cutaway close-ups of this because I have to show you the way that this pin uh, clips on the back. It is not a circle moving clip. It's like a flick in, flick out clip, but it's actually so much better. So you've got to really push it down and it flicks backwards. So you, it's, it won't flip up. I feel like they kind of corrected that in the newer brooches. It's got a beautiful little CC on it and then it's got the crest on the back. And I usually wear them on this side. So let's go ahead and put it on there. How's that? Yeah, see, it's so much easier to hook in. I definitely would try it. Okay, let's go ahead and get you a price on this guy. 770 Australian dollars this came in for. My winter fall one, the smaller one, was about, I can't remember, maybe it was 820. Oof, maybe it was more because it had pearls. Can't remember. But I try to hover around that price for a brooch. I can't be one of these girls spending like $1,200 on a... Nah, 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 girl. I'd just rather buy fine jewelry. But that was the price from the Sydney flagship store on Castle Ray Street. See, this is a lot bigger. So my winterfall or snowfall, whatever that was called, was really quite a small little brooch. But that's beautiful. Do you guys like it? I'm so glad I have a brooch rack on my blazer because, okay, it took a lot. And when I mean a lot, I mean I scoured every single property from mother-in-law to mother to every restaurant my husband owns to this house to the garages to every car like I was crazy. Z. So that is it guys. I do hope you like my new Chanel brooch. Do check these out. Check them out on the resale market. You can get, you know, a few of these brooches a little bit off them. I mean, listen, okay, it's Chanel costume jewelry. It's not fine jewelry. It is not gold. It is not even gold plated. It is just metals on metals and crystals and that's it but if you can get a little bit off and you don't want to buy it new from the boutique i will leave a couple of links below of some that i really really like and yeah i hope you guys like that do go ahead and give me a thumbs up let me know what which chanel brooches you guys are into or even which fashion jewelry you're into from chanel i pledged i wouldn't buy any more Sucker. Okay, I lost it. It's completely fair deal. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you wish to do so, please do! Because I checked my analytics the other day and 65% of my viewers out there aren't subscribed to my channel. Mind blown. I was like, what? I hope everybody is doing really well. I will see you in my next video. Please stay safe. Take care. Peace.